The Susquehanna SPCA has been in their current location for 32 years. The shelter had plans to renovate the facility they're in now, but an opportunity opened up at the perfect time to move right down the road on Route 28. Back in April, the Staff Works Fund lent a hand to the shelter with their renovation funding. They hope to be in the new facility in a year, but the shelter needs the community's help. Arjun Selig explains. A lot of tail wagging at the Susquehanna SPCA as demolition is underway at their future home. The new location is bigger and safer. Demolition started about a week ago, and so uh, they've been clearing the property of all the current buildings, um, which all got condemned. Originally, the shelter had a $2 million goal, but now there's more expenses when it comes to moving, including the demolition. This whole project started because New York State um, put $5 million in the budget for companion animal uh, shelters. And so um, we won $500,000 um, to jumpstart this project. And the whole point of the money from New York State was to increase the health and safety for our animals. And, um, you know, right now we have hardly any ventilation. We are always struggling with plumbing issues. Just moving right down the road, this location will be much bigger for them. They'll have their own surgical room and possibly a room to hold birthday parties. So right now, our surgery room is also our intake exam, our treatment room where we do grooming, overflow, like for this time of year where we have uh, over 100 cats in our shelter. Um, and so in our new facility, we'll have a surgery suite that has a, a surgery room that's only for surgery. It'll have um, recovery, it'll have intake, it'll have treatment. Um, so those are really going to make a huge difference for our animals. You know, we're, we're right now we're planning on um, building a community room so that we can host birthday parties, we can have staff meetings, we can have board meetings. Um, but if we don't bring in that extra money, that room will disappear. The shelter raised around $1.9 very close to their original goal. And with the community's help, Stacy is hopeful that they can raise more money before the October 1st deadline. Reporting in Cooperstown, Jen Selig, Eyewitness News.